All right, folks, welcome back to 6.2 disc and washer method practice. In this video, we're going to take a look at question number four. Question number four says, find the volume of the solid of revolution generated by rotating the region bounded by f of x equals the square root of 9 minus x squared and y equals 0 around the x-axis. All right, so let's sketch our graph. The square root of 9 minus x squared is a graph you should know. It's something that came up in chapter 5, and it's something that will come up again in Calc 2. So when I see the square root of 9 minus x squared, I know that it is a circle with the center at 0, 0, and a radius of 3. Okay, That is information that you need to be able to recognize from that equation. So let's plot that graph. I know that it's going to have a radius to 3, but since it's only the positive square root, I only have to have the top half of the circle. All right, where is y equals 0? Well, y equals 0 is here, so that helps us bound our shape. And then my axis of revolution is here. Axis of revolution equals y equals 0. All right, so let's draw our revolved or reflected shape. I know that would give me something like this down here. Okay. And I know that all cross sections are going to be circles. And so I know the area formula for a circle is pi r squared. So the blue lines I want to draw should represent the radius, not the diameter. So the radius would be like from here to here, or maybe from here to here, or maybe from here to here, or let's put one on the negative side too, okay? So these four blue lines represent the radii for the cross sections that they are with. Okay, now let's set up our integral. We know that volume equals the integral of the area. And because my blue lines are perpendicular to the axis of revolution, I know it's going to be dx. So I know that I can take the integral from negative 3 to 3 of pi, the radius, squared, dx. All right, let's clean this up a little bit. The integral from negative 3 to 3 of pi times 9 minus x squared dx. And just like the last question, I'm going to go ahead and use symmetry. So my integral is actually going to be 2 pi times the integral from 0 to 3 of 9 minus x squared dx. I like to do this because a lot of times you'll notice anything with those zeros tend to go away. And I really want to leverage that because I want to minimize the calculations I actually need to make. Okay, let's take our antiderivatives. 9 becomes 9x. x squared becomes 1 third x cubed. And my bounds are 3 and 0. All right. So I have 2 pi times 9 times 3 minus 1 third times 3 cubed minus 2 pi times 9 times 0 minus 1 third times 0 cubed. And I do a quick check, but this last term does in fact go to 0. All right, so I get 2 pi times 27 minus 9, or 2 pi times 18, or I get 36 pi as the volume of this shape when I revolve it. All right, 
So that brings us to the end of example four. Come on back for example number five.